There are three different ways to adjust the volume of a track here in Logic Pro for iPad. So in this video, I'm gonna show you all three of them and why you would use each one. Let's go. When you're mixing a song in Logic Pro for iPad, one of the most important things to get a great sound is to get your volume levels right. The first place you can adjust volume is right here on your main screen. Let's show you how to do that. So we're here in Tracks View. We don't have any of our things selected at the bottom here, and you'll notice that we have a volume slider here next to each track. So in this video, we're going to be adjusting the volume of this guitar solo. To adjust the volume, all we need to do is grab this volume slider and turn it up or down. Let's turn it up. Or to turn it down, slide it down. Let's hear it back in our mix. Simple as that. Now, if you don't see this volume slider, there's a couple of reasons why. You may have this slid over to the left, so all you need to do is grab on this handle and slide back to the right, and you'll open up the volume. You also won't see the volume slider if your tracks are too zoomed in. So if you're seeing a view that's more like this, grab two fingers and just separate them up and down, and you'll see there that when you get to a certain size, you bring back your volume slider. And finally, if you don't see it at all, what you may need to do is actually take Tap on these three dots and go into customize track header because you may not have this one selected. There it is without volume. Let's tap it, go to customize track header and turn it back on and there your volume has been restored. Now this volume slider is great for some quick adjustments while you're getting a basic static mix, but you're probably already seeing the limitations. You can't see what gain it's actually at, how many dBs of gain you've got there. And when you're adjusting it, you can't tell how far you're turning it up or down, which is where our second volume change location comes in handy. If we tap on the channel strip down here in the bottom, you'll see that we get this. This is really, really handy. It tells you which track you've got selected Selected. You can adjust panning, mute, solo, record. You can even adjust things like your options, your input gain, your monitoring, your freeze, and so on. But you'll also notice that you have a volume slider. And with this one, it is actually going to tell you what level it's at. So you can see that when you tap and hold just above there, it gives you the readout of where it's at. And if that's too small for you, check at the top of the screen there, right up in here. When I move it this time, you'll see that that is changing. Let's put the cursor there. And as I move it up and down over here, you can see that the number of dB is changing at the top. So when we're mixing in this guitar solo, this can be a great place for us to do those smaller adjustments. Let's show you how. So we get much more finite control over how much volume is going into this track. The third and probably most useful way to adjust volume is to use your mixer. So to use the mixer, we tap on the mixer icon down the bottom here, and you'll see here the highlighted track there will change based on which track we select here. So that's how you know which one you're on. And then we can use this, which gives us much more precision control. You can see it'll change the volume. It'll also replicate it over there as well as up here on our track. So all of these are actually linked. It's just where it makes more sense to change them on each occasion. So let's uh, hit play again on this one and use the mixer fader to adjust our volume. <laughs> Now, what you might see is we don't have a whole lot of view, but that's okay. We can actually drag this mixer up to make it the whole screen, and then we get the full range of our volume. You'll also notice that it gives us a readout here of how many dBs it's been set at, everything from minus infinity down here right up to a plus 6 dB range. So that's great for doing some more intricate changes, but what if we had this set here to, say, minus 4 dB, and we wanted it to be 1 decibel higher. Well, instead of just fiddling around with our fader, we could actually tap right in here and change it directly by tapping here and either using this keypad or using our keyboard to dial in a different amount. So let's put minus three to bring this up one dB. So on my keyboard, I'm going to hit minus 3.0 and hit done. 
And there you go. It adjusts that to minus 3.0 directly on there. Now, you will notice when you start playing with this, it'll only go to one decimal point. So if we try to do something more like minus 3.12 and hit done, it's not going to do that. It's going to go to minus 3.2. So there's no way to change that. And sometimes there's a bit of a weird thing that if you try to go to some weird amount, so let's say we go to minus 12.438 and we hit the done button, it, oh, it actually worked that time. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it goes bang and goes right back up to plus 6 dB. But you can put your numbers in there. Again, you can also punch them in here using your keypad if you want to go to another volume amount. If numbers aren't your thing and you're more tactile, you can also tap this option here and you get these little up down arrows. So you can go up and down by minus, uh, by, sorry, by 0.2 dB, or you can use this dial to dial it in. But again, you're only going to get 0.2 dB of control using that one. If you want to go to the 0.1, you can use the number number here. So there you go. When mixing, you can get your basic mix here on the front screen. You can then use your channel strip to get some more finite movements there. And then when you're ready to finally get those little tiny subtle changes, you can jump here into your mixer, use your fader or adjust it directly there. For more tips and tricks on using Logic Pro for iPad to create, record and release your best music, check out the other videos in the playlist below and I'll see you next time.